When I decided to make a video about Surge, I thought I'd mostly be reminiscing about the wacky commercials and hyper young fanbase. But after breaking down the hard facts, there is a lot more to the Surge story than I realized. Surge was first produced by the Coca-Cola company in 1997 as a direct response to the popularity of Pepsi's Mountain Dew. Shifting their focus towards the youth movement, extreme sports, and gamers was proving to be a smashing success for Mountain Dew. And of course, Coke wanted a piece of the pie too. They quickly initiated Project MDK, which stood for Mountain Dew Killer, and is rumored to be the codename Coca-Cola employees were using behind the scenes. The drink was originally introduced as Urge in the late 1990s and was developed by Coca-Cola Norway. When Coke needed a new top taste to enter the soda wars, they rebranded Urge into Surge. Surge was marketed as a liquid energy alternative to coffee. Its high caffeine content made it a popular choice among young people, who often turned to Surge as a way to stay alert and focused. However, the high caffeine content of Surge also raised concerns among some health experts, who argued that it was potentially harmful to children and adolescents. Surge also contained a high level of sugar, with a single can containing 56 grams of it. This high sugar content, along with the controversy over its caffeine levels, contributed to the criticism that Surge faced. It didn't take long before schools, parents, and even retailers started banning the green drink. But was Surge really all that bad? I mean, when you compare the ingredients to Mountain Dew, they weren't that far off. I think Surge was just getting a bad rap for its absolute insane and over-the-top marketing. The way they branded themselves left a bad taste in the mouths of many adults. If Mountain Dew was cool, then Surge needed to be hardcore. The commercials were unlike anything else. They always featured young adults in intense situations, playing pranks on their friends. And no matter what, every single commercial had to have someone screaming, SURD! They always ended with one of their memorable campaign taglines. Surge, life's a scream. Life's a scream. <laughs> life's a scream. <laughs> Beat the rush. Beat the rush. Beat the rush. Coke spent roughly $1.5 million on a 30-second Super Bowl commercial to launch the drink. Throughout the years, they had mainstream collaborations with Extreme Sports, Burger King, and World Championship Wrestling, just to name a few. WCW and Surge are the perfect match. Within three years, Mountain Dew's market share had fallen over 66%. To the public, it looked like Coca-Cola's Surge was destined to outperform Mountain Dew. However, the truth was, the first year sales for Surge was the highest they'd ever hit. From that point forward, sales steadily declined, and Mountain Dew remained on top of the citrus throne. After six years, despite having a loyal fan base, Coca-Cola unfortunately announced it would be discontinuing the drink due to low sales. I remember it being a big deal that Surge was gone. People were stockpiling cans and bottles in their basement. There was an entire resale market thriving off of sites like eBay. As time went on, the legend of Surge grew. Despite being discontinued for years, the fan base grew into a passionate community. They started a social media campaign and used hashtags to generate interest in the drink again. As a result, in 2014, Coca-Cola decided to bring back Surge for a limited time exclusively on Amazon. <laughs> Surge. Surge is back, Surge. Then in 2018, it came back for a short period again, only this time at Burger King locations. They even released some new flavors, but unfortunately, it looks like that fizzled out as well. The fan base is still active and searching for answers. I was on their IG page and there are new comments coming in on their most recent post, which is from all the way back in 2015. Because of the fan loyalty and demand, I'm sure we haven't seen the last of Surge products. We hope that you got a taste of what made Surge so rad in the 90s. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Durr!